So hey guys, how's it going? This is COVID from Code of COVID YouTube channel and welcome back to another video tutorial in this channel. So I have been quite a long absent in my YouTube channel, so don't worry. Uh, some of my viewers have told me to maintain the consistency of um, video uploading. So I have came up with a plan that I will be uploading 30 video per month. So without getting set, let's jump into our video. So what's today's topic? So today's topic is little bit uh, confusing or what to say so you might have, have uh, uh, listened about this topic unit testing so what is unit testing I will be guiding you through each and every steps of unit testing and uh, guiding you through basics of those so okay let's learn about unit testing so what is unit testing let's learn about it okay so basically unit testing means like uh, you might have get uh, like class test in your a a school or college then uh, campus okay so it's similar to that okay so you have created a kind of object oriented programming or you have created a platform or program but now what is the process uh, there is a process called software development lifecycle that is called STLC so uh, basically in this software development lifecycle we do unit testing so there is test and analysis methods okay so there is the that cycle so in that cycle we have to do what is we have to test like we have to give some test cases and uh, check if the program is giving us right result or not if that's okay then it's okay we can go over to it but if that's not then we that's where we have to debug so that's the bug so uh, kind of unit testing is also kind of method of finding the box if that's not found by any errors or any errors are not given but you have to put some test cases and go do some programs then unit test comes in hand okay so let's uh, talk about it so unit test is default library built-in library of python so you can easily import it I'm sorry so you can easily import it from your uh, so, uh, text editor so mine is sublime text so okay okay so now uh, if you haven't learned about object oriented programming then that's not your kind of hand for getting into unit testing first go and learn about object oriented programming I have made this separate video or playlist on it so now you have to create a class so that this can, class can be anything like let's cl uh, create a test class okay so over here you have to pass uh, inherent unit test dot test case okay and let's pass for now okay so let's first of all create a program okay so let me name it as um, okay employee dot py okay so let's I will be creating this class and I will be coming to you so I have created our class called employee and in that class I have passed percentage that is 5% and over here I have increased the uh, ways of it and new is equals to and next is email so this is class called employee so let's go and test this class employee so for uh, testing this class I have to import that class into this file so for that from employee that is the class sorry file name import employee okay so after create uh, importing that what you have to do is create a method so uh, if you don't know about methods I have already discussed it about uh, in previous my object oriented programming video so you can go and ch check there so basically it's a function inside the class so we have to create a function sorry method which starts with test underscore so it's kind of unit test method so you have to do it it's mandatory and you have to do it uh, if that's you don't do that then it won't run okay so 
uh, test email let's check over there okay so we have to obviously pass self as a parameter and then what we have to do is we have to check if this this is correct or not so for that what I have to do is employee one is equal to okay uh, employee and okay so employee and I have to pass first name so let's pass the first name last name and then weighs like five thousand dollars okay that's good and employee two that is employee and okay John uh, what else okay and maybe two thousand dollars of the ways okay so now what we have to do is check if it this method of email will return us same output that we wanted or not so for that we can do is there is a, a um, method called self that assert equal so I have uh, there are list of uh, documentation of unit test of, of this assert method so I will be putting the link down below if you want to check this thing okay for now you have to assert equals so imp1 dot email comma so uh, first argument will be our value so this will return us its email right so and next uh, second pair argument should be the expected result so our expected result is covid the panty at coder covid dot com right and next our next test case is equal again assert equal emp2 dot email comma that should be equals to john dot wells at the rate coder covid dot com right so if that's okay then it's okay and now if I want to run this program over here like Python employee that py unit test at py then over here sorry okay so what was the problem was previously I used unit test that is that came came to just mess up with the real one so I changed it to unit test program so that it doesn't change to okay now it's doing good okay okay so nothing is printed right so how is this possible so because we haven't done anything for that we have to use this if main condition so uh, if you want to learn about this what this if underscore dunder name dunder is equal to main what is that then you can comment me down i will make a separate video on it because it's not uh, possible to answer this that question in this video because it will be lengthy and i know you guys don't like the lengthy video okay yeah uh, okay just mm, changing this to unit test dot main that is the function of method of unit test that will run it so if i check and run again so it is saying me it's failing okay so this is the f method okay so it's saying that assertion error so that's not equals to blah 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 is not equals to covid dot panty at covid dot com so what's happening let me check over okay so what's happening is sorry I just missed the parentheses so you must put those parentheses so okay so now it's saying us okay and it's showing us one dot this one dot is completely passed so we have uh, ran one test in 0 0.000 seconds so that's what it's telling so now uh, we can also create another function called test okay so let me show you what happens if I do email underscore test so it won't run if it runs but you can see here no change is there but over here ran zero test in 0, 0.00 seconds so this test was not 
activated now it's activated okay so I will be creating more function called test I wish so that is testing the ways increasing the ways so uh, same property for this and self third assert equal and emp dot increase underscore ways emp one dot increase underscore ways so that should in do something and let's copy this and this should do something okay so five percent let me let me open our calculator okay 0 0.005 I mean 0 0.05 into five thousand dollars plus five thousand that comes to be five two five zero okay that is five two five zero and similarly uh, 0 0.05 into thousand dollars plus two thousand gives us two one zero zero okay so let's check this also okay it's saying us okay so it's showing us it's in the float number so how we can change the float number is by changing return value okay sorry so this return should be in the self integer value of that self that ways okay so now let's check if it's running well mm -hmm. sorry our output was like this right new ways is equal to <coughs> that was our output right so new ways is equal to and I guess now it will run correctly yeah ran two tests there are two dots and ok so that's what uh, the thing of uh, unit testing so hope you guys like this video and hope you guys have learned something about unit testing and uh, there are lots of more things in unit testing and not only these things there are lots of things others so you can go and check it out in the documentation page so you can check it out and go and just enjoy okay so uh, I guess this much for today and yeah I as I told you I will be uploading uh, videos uh, 30 videos per month so maybe it will be a uh, daily video or maybe uh, what two days a day sorry two videos a day so that can be anything so just stay tuned with me don't forget to subscribe this channel and yeah I will meet you in the next one